Rufus, oh, he let me love me, oh, yeah, I just know Rufus, oh, he let me love me Caught up in my, caught up in my day Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do something I have never done before. It's about a product swatch review, first impression thing. Today the products that I'm talking about will be these e.l.f. lip glosses. These are called the e.l.f. Extra Lip Glosses. e.l.f. is a super, super affordable brand. They've got eye products, lip products, and face products. That's what e.l.f. stands for as an abbreviation. and. Just to let you guys know, I was not sponsored for this video or anything. I know it's like, I don't know, it's such a cheesy thing to say as a YouTuber, but I'm really not. I received the lip glosses because I made a purchase on their webpage and well, I decided to show them to you. So these lip glosses were sent in a set and as you can see, there are like three more nude colors and two red colors. And um, I think I'm going to start off with the nude colors. Um, it's just less messier to start off with those. This is the first one I'm gonna try. It's called Scott, like the name. Okay. The smell is a bit more like plastic or something. It's just like how gloss smells. It doesn't have like any fragrances added or taste added. Oh, and I think I like the color. It's a really, really nice nude color. More on the orange side. Quite skin colored, as you can see. Yeah, it tastes like it smells. <laughs> so this is the first color. I like it. It looks really warm and really natural. I just feel like it is a really, really good nude color that enhances the form of your lips. And I feel like it really suits my makeup today. What a coincidence, huh? <laughs> it does not feel heavy on my lips. That's what I can say. Um, it is not really sticky. It's actually quite lightweight. I actually really like it. So that was the first one and now I'm going to try the second one. This is the color Brian. Oh, they are all called like guys. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. So I'm going to put Brian onto my lips now. I feel like this is like, it looks kind of like a Barbie-ish pink but not neon, luckily. Ooh, it is not glittery, this is what I like. And I, I feel like I do not need much. I actually really like the texture. They have just the right amount of pigmentation, I feel like. They're like really subtle. I would not imagine Brian to be pink, to be honest, but yeah. But the color is really nice. It's a really nice nude color as well, as you can see, and I will say that this nude color, the pinkish one, is probably more for girls who are have like a neutral skin tone to a cool undertone and the other one, more like the beigey, orangey one, would probably be for girls with more warm golden undertones but of course you can rock both. This is a really really nice nude color as well. It's really nice flesh tone and it's really good for spring now that it comes. It does not even look as pink as um, in the bottle, I feel like, because you know your natural color still shines through. But this is a really, really nice color. It's really, it looks really subtle and really natural. Really, you know, makes your lip plump a little. Ta! -da! Okay, that's that's probably nasty. Maybe I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> Next color I'm gonna use is Michael. This is a pinkish color as well, but it does look a bit more thicker than the um, Brian one. It does have a little bit of glitter inside, as I can see. It looks more pigmented, so let's try this one. Ooh, okay, it really is more pigmented. Wow, the pigmentation is really good. Oh gosh, I cannot see that in the camera. You see that in the camera, but yeah. It looks really, really good. It does not even look that orange in real life than it does in the camera. Scene. So bad at multitasking. I would have not expected this pigmentation to be honest. It is really really good pigmented. It covers so good and I only like took one scoop. Like I didn't dip into the gloss again. Wow. Okay, the more I look at it, the more I like it to be honest. It looks really really pretty. Not too intensive. Quite subtle. Yeah, I like it. And it's really really creamy. As well the last two colors are like the extreme red colors the first one is more like a cherry red it has a lot of glitter inside at least that's how it looks like and it is called Brett 
Hello, Brett. Nice to meet you. I'm Kaxin. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pigmentation is insane. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. And that was just like one side only of the of the uh, lip gloss thingy. Shit, what have I done? I'm so bad. So bad, Hexen. So bad. What kind of a beauty YouTuber are you? So bad. Oh my god. The pigmentation is insane. I am honestly so impressed. The pigmentation is so good and I would have never, never expected it from such a low price lip gloss. The quality is really, really good. It outstands the price so much. I actually thought that I wouldn't like the color to be honest as well because it was like this um, awkward Christmas red. But it looks really, really good on the lips. It looks like a really, like a cherry red. There isn't that much glitter actually. It looks like glitter when you look at it like this. But on your lips, you don't even see like the glitter. So I wonder what the glitter is for. Probably like to reflect the light or something. But it is so good. The pigmentation is really, really good. Oh my god, I know I re I'm repeating myself. But really have just like a thin layer of product on my lips. It's really creamy, really lightweight, not sticky at all. It's such a pretty retro 60s cherry red. It looks so good. I love it. Good job, guys. Good job, Elf. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye now to what was your name? Brett. Bye, Brett. The last lip gloss that we have is called Luke. Well, Luke is a suiting name now. I feel like Luke, Luke looks like a dark red. This looks really bloody and really dark. Oh, oh, oh. It's not even a red. I thought it was red, but it's like a plum color, like an aubergine color. Do I look awkward while applying my lip gloss? Oh my gosh, this concentration is insane. Like, I can't even breathe, okay, while I'm applying because the pigmentation is just too much for me to handle. I really don't want to mess it up and like get everything on my face. That would be messy. Oh god, stop talking, Kixine. Okay, so this is how Luke looks like. Wow. It is less pigmented than Brat because I dipped into the tube twice. But the pigmentation is still very, very strong. I like this color. It's really good. And it is so lightweight. All the lip glosses were really, really lightweight from the texture. They had a really light feeling on the lips. They weren't sticky or anything. And they feel like water, to be honest. you are feeling like a little bit more grungy or want to be like bit more bold then this is a really nice color because it is bold definitely this color but it is not as in your face as other colors I feel like I think it's also probably the fact because it's a lip gloss and not a liquid lipstick what makes it so subtle and that's I really like this color I wow Luke and Brad and probably Scott. These are like my three favorite colors. They look really, really high quality and I am just super amazed by all the lip glosses and I'm really, really happy. I am really positively surprised by the outcome, by the result and by how they look. I would have never expected it and I know I am repeating myself. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know if you have tried e.l.f. I really want to know because I think I'm going to check out more of the products now. As always, all the products will be linked down in the description box below and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you next time on my channel. Bye bye! Mwah.